Last time I saw you, we made a galaxy together. Today, we're going to be making a snowman on top of our galaxy using a technique called the dry brush. To do this, you're going to be needing two brushes. One that's wet and one that's dry. I think this is going to be my wet one. All right, let's get started. First up, we're going to want to decide on which way you want your glass to be. Turn it around any way you want and think, okay, which one looks most like a sky? I think hmm, this one is. This is going to be covered up with snow. So the first step, we're going to be drawing our snowman using nothing but white paint. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to draw a big circle. Just like so. We're not going to be drawing small circles. Big. And again. Right here. And then your bottom is going to be the biggest part. It's holding all those three parts. All right. Next, we're going to start coloring in using the dry brush technique. You get a whole bunch of paint on your brush, about that much. Then we're going to paint just a little bit there. With your dry brush, we're going to swirl it all around. The reason you're doing this is you want to see the color underneath. Once again, get your paint. Kind of paint a little bit here, not all the way. And now we're going to swirl it. You'll notice how you can see some of the green underneath and that's okay, that's what you want. We're doing a galaxy snowman. You wanna see that pretty color. And then you blend it all together with your dry brush and let that color pop through. If your stomach looks purple, that's okay. You want the purple to be showing from underneath. Huh? When you're using two brushes, it's best to tray brushes as you go. So I have my hand like this. When I'm gonna get my paint now, I'm gonna move this over and pick this brush up. Watch again. Two brushes, move it over. My finger catches that and I take my dry brush out. Next, we're going to move the snow in behind it. Make an outline of where you want your snow to be. Now we're going to do the same thing we did before on a bigger scale. You get the paint. Kind of paint some on top, just a little bit. Dry brush. And blend it all together. Now 
Remember when you're doing snow, especially the mountains, you want the top of your snow to be the brightest. And then as you get to the shadows, those will be a little bit darker and more murky. When you have shadows in artwork, that is called value. Value is the lightness and darkness of a color or shape. We'll be going back to the snowman once it dries a little bit and adding some shadows. That's actually pretty good right now. So to make the shadows, we're gonna be using just a little bit of blue. Ask yourself, where is the light coming from? Is it coming from here or here? That's your decision. I'm gonna make it go this way. So, we're just a little bit of blue right here. A little bit of blue right here. Some white right next to it. All right. With my dry brush now, we're gonna blend it all together. You could also use purple instead of blue if you choose to. It's getting a little bit blue, so I'm gonna go in and get some more white. Blend it together. Keep in mind, the part that's facing the light is going to be the lightest part of your snowman. Snowman's done, so we go back and add the eyes with this dry. Now we're going to go ahead and use the dry brush technique. White here. Get your dry brush and swirl it together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. And then we're gonna... All right, snow's mostly done. I used dry brush technique. Next, we're gonna be using the same technique again to add a shadow right here at the bottom. The light's coming from here, so the snow mint's casting the shadow on the snow. To do that, I'm gonna be adding purple. You can also use blue if you choose to. I just wanna add a variety, and so I'm adding purple. Okay, so right here at the end, it's going to be the darkest part. Let's add some blue, actually. I'm going to add a little bit here and there, using my wet brush once again. And then with my dry brush, get all that extra white off. We're going to blend it together. We're gonna do the same thing now, just a few places where there's gonna be shadow in the hill. Right here, there. And then using my dry brush, I'm gonna blend it out and give it some shadow.
Okay, time for the fun part. We're gonna do the eyes. That's pretty simple, but first I wanna do my hat. You can make any kind of hat you want. For mine, I'm gonna do a beanie hat. Maybe some dots. Pom pom. Some shadow on the pom pom. next I prefer them to be brown, but we got black. A scarf. Got a really nice yellow. So I'm going to use some yellow for my scarf. You can use any color you want. The nice thing about acrylic, even though your paint is wet, if you have enough of your paintbrush, you can just layer it on top. I kind of like that because it kind of matches the sky. Stripes on it. Nose next. And lastly, the mouth. And we're done. That's really cute.